four laws of logic. There are three classical laws of logic. One, the law of identity. Two, the law of excluded middle. Three, the law of non-contradiction. In 1818, the German philosopher Arthur Schopenhauer introduced the fourth law. Four, the law of sufficient reason. Law number one, the law of identity. Everything that is, exists. The law explains that everything is identical to itself. A term used in logical discourse can refer to one and only one thing. When a term means more than one thing within the same discussion, the violation introduces a fallacy known as equivocation. An example of equivocation is, Jack eats what is right and Jill eats what is left. Right means correct in the first half of the sentence and is implied to mean a direction in the second half. Similarly, left has a double meaning, the direction opposite to right and the remainder left over. Law number two, the law of excluded middle. Each and everything either is or is not. A proposition is either true or not true. If there are two contradictory propositions, either the first is true and the second not true, or the second is true and the first is not true. Example, Arthur is a faithful husband and Arthur had an affair while he was married. Having an affair is the definition of being unfaithful. Therefore, either it is true that Arthur is faithful and the affair did not happen, or Arthur had an extramarital affair negating his faithfulness to his wife. Law number three, the law of non-contradiction. Nothing can simultaneously be and not be. Contradictory propositions cannot be true at the same time and in the same sense. This is similar to the law of identity. Example, a German Shepherd cannot be a Yorkshire Terrier nor a Shih Tzu, i.e. non-German Shepherd. A high-rise building cannot be a bungalow, i.e. a non-high-rise. But care must be taken to ensure that the propositions are truly mutually exclusionary. Benjamin Franklin is a statesman, but he is also a scientist. A scientist is not necessarily a non-statesman, because being a statesman does not exclude being a scientist, and vice versa. When two propositions can coexist, they are not contradictory and do not violate the law of non-contradiction. Law number four, the law of sufficient reason. Of everything that is, it can be found why it is. Of the four logical principles, it is the most controversial and also the most complicated. Example, suppose John wanted to buy a motorcycle to get around in. A man he hardly knew approached him and said that a friend of his brother-in-law's office mate mentioned John's interest. The stranger will sell John his brand new motorcycle for $500 if John makes payment in three hours. John immediately jumps at the offer and says, it's a deal. But as a logical person, your first thought would be, why? This is the gist of fourth law. For every unexplained fact, a rational mind will seek the reason behind it. Just any reason will not do. It must be sufficient. In the example, the explanation must answer questions like, why did the stranger want to sell it so quickly? Why at such a low price? What might be wrong with the unit? Was it contraband? Was it stolen? How did the stranger even know John? So that was a brief summary of four laws of logic. Do check out Logical Fallacies short video series.